Hello all, welcome to GNB classes. In this class we are going to discuss about the The question is, find the remainder when quadra 2 to the power quadra 5 plus quadra 5 to the power quadra 2 is divided by 7. So we have to find out the remainder. So what we will do, we will first find out what is the remainder when this one is divided by 7. And then we will find out what is the remainder when this one is divided by 7. Then we will add up those two results to get our final one. So here, if I uh, simply do a little calculation, if I divide quadra 2 by 7, so we are having the remainder will be 3. And when quadra 5 is divided by 7, the remainder will be 4. Okay, so this calculation will be needed here. So now we can write that when quadra 2 is divided by 7, the remainder is 3. Or we can say quadra 2 is congruent to 3 modulo 7. Now, if I raise its power to 3, so we are having 27 modulo 7. Now, can I write this one? Think it carefully. Because the number just above 27, which is completely divisible by 7, is 28, where we are one short of it. So we have written it as minus 1. Because as I told you before in previous sums, that my prime motto or our goal is to bring 1 or minus 1 as a remainder. So that we can get the advantage of raising its power. So now let me just raise its power to 1851 because we have to come closer to quadra 5. So this one will give you minus 1 to the power 1851 modulo 7. So it is coming to quadra 2 whole to the power 3553 which is minus 1 modulo 7. Okay, so now I need quadra 2 whole square over here. As we all know that quadra 2 is congruent to 3 modulo 7, so we can write this thing like, it will be nothing but minus 1 into 3 into 3 modulo 7. Is it clear? So we are having quadra 2 whole to the power quadra 5 is congruent to minus 9 modulo 7. Now, as we all know, that the negative remainder should be removed and the way that we use is simply by adding multiples of 7 to get a remainder which is below 7. So in this case I will add 14 over here to get the remainder as 5 modulo 7. Is it clear? Is this part clear to you? Okay. Now let us start with quadra 5. I have already shown here that when quadra 5 is divided with 7, when it is divided by 7, the remainder is 4. So now let me raise its power to 3. Let us just do it 3 because in that case it will be 4 cube which is 63 modulo 7 which is nothing but your so, the remainder cannot be 63 when it is divided by 7. So, reduce it. So, it will be only 1 modulo 7. Sorry, this is 64. 4, four cube is 64. So, 9 7 is 63. So, 1 will be the remainder. Is it clear? Now, raise its power 2. Because we have to come closer to quadra 2. So, I am raising its power to 740. So, this will be 1 to the power 740 modulo 7. So, quadra 5 whole to the power triple to 0 is 1 modulo 7. Now, we need quadra 2. So, what I will do the same thing just now as I have done. I am simply multiplying with quadra 5 into quadra 5 because we have all seen that quadra 5 is congruent to 4 modulo 7. So this one will be 1 into 4 into 4 modulo 7. 
okay so we are having quadra 5 to the power quadra 2 is congruent to 16 modulo 7 again 16 cannot be the remainder so reducing it by subtracting multiples of the divisor so if i subtract 14 out of it so we are having quadra 5 to the power quadra 2 is congruent to 2 modulo 7 is it clear therefore we got that quadra 2 to the power quadra 5 is congruent to 5 modulo 7 and quadra 5 to the power quadra 2 is 2 modulo 7 now if i add the corresponding sides we are going to have 7 modulo 7 so 7 will be reduced from it so it will be 0 modulo 7 yes or no that is when this expression is divided by 7 the remainder is zero it means that this expression is completely divisible by seven is it clear or not let us take another problem see this question here it has been given to find out the remainder when 32 to the power 32 to the power 32 is divided by seven it's a very very popular sum this sum i will do it in a very unique method and i will suggest all the students all the viewers to remember this method and it will act as a tool for finding out problems of similar kind here we have been given to find out the remainder when 32 to the power 32 to the power 32 is divided by 7 so for a time being you just forget about this think about it only 32 and the first step that you have to remember is what should be the least exponent of 32 which when divides by 7 leaves a remainder 1 this is the only thing that you have to remember okay so here we can see that when 32 is divided by 7 we are left with remainder is 4 okay so now if i raise its power to 2 it is coming to 4 square which is your 16 so when some number is divided by 7 the remainder cannot be 16 so take out 14 so it will be only 2 modulo 7 is it clear now 32 to the power 32 square whole cube will give you 2 cube modulo 7 so 32 to the power 6 is coming to 8 modulo 7 but 8 cannot be the remainder so take out 7 so it is 1 modulo 7 okay so this much you have to do so now we know the least positive exponent of 32 is 6 which when divided by 7 leaves a remainder 1 now what you have to do is check the exponent of 32 in this case it is 32 to the power 32 now you have to express 32 to the power 32 that is this part as a multiple of 6 as a multiple of 6 this is the second step now we have to express the exponent of 32 as a multiple of 6 so that exactly what i am trying to do here now 32 to the power 32 is basically 2 to the power 5 whole to the power 32 gives you 2 to the power 160 correct so now I will express this 2 to the power 160 as a multiple of 6. Let us start. Again from the reflexivity property. Modulo 6. Okay. So 2 square will be 2 square modulo 6. That is 2 square is 4 modulo 6. Okay. Now I have an observation in this particular congruent system that if a is congruent to 4 modulo 6 remember it very carefully it has not been given in any book if a is congruent to 4 modulo 6 then remember it a to the power k where k is an integer always gives you 4 modulo 6 that is it when a is congruent to 4 modulo 6 then a to the power k is also 
congruent to 4 modulo 6. It is my observation. Again, I am telling you. This one as well as this one. 3 modulo 6. If A is congruent to 3 modulo 6, then again A to the power K is congruent to 3 modulo 6. This is my observation. You check with any number and this two relations will hold true. Now, when 2 square is coming to 4 modulo 6, as we are getting 4 modulo 6, so I can raise its power to anything and the remainder will be 4 itself. So, let me just raise its power to 80. So, we will have still 4 modulo 6. So, 2 to the power 160 is nothing but 4 modulo 6. So, 2 to the power 160 can be written as 6 lambda plus 4. That is the way how we write. Because when 2 to the power 160 is divided by 6, the remainder is 4. So, 2 to the power 160 can be written as 6 lambda plus 4, where lambda belongs to any integer. Is it clear? We are having 32 to the power 32 to the power 32. So, this part can be replaced by 6 lambda plus 4, which is same as your 32 to the power 6 lambda into 32 to the power 4. Now, we have already, we already got 32 to the power 6 is 1 modulo 7. So, 32 to the power 6 lambda will be again 1 modulo 7. Tell me yes or no. Now, we have to find out what is 32 to the power 4. 32 to the power 4 is pretty simple, you see. We know 32 square is congruent to 2 modulo 7. So, 32 square, whole square will give you 4 modulo 7, correct? So, if I multiply this corresponding sides, we are going to have 32 to the power 6 lambda into 32 to the power 4 is 1 into 4 modulo 7. We all know that then, we know that AC is congruent to BD modulo M, correct? So, in this case, what we are getting, 32 to the power 6 lambda plus 4 is congruent to 4 modulo 7. Is it clear? And 32 to the power 6 lambda plus 4 is nothing but 32 to the power 32 to the power 32. That is, when this expression is divided by 7, the remainder is 4. That is your answer. Is it clear? Therefore, the required remainder is nothing but 4. In this problem, the most important observation which you have to remember is this one. So, please try to remember this form. Okay? Now, let us take another problem of this kind. See this problem. The question is find the remainder when 33 to the power 34 to the power 35 is divided by 7. Observe it very carefully. First, what I told you for a time being, you forget this part. You only think about 33. What should be the least power of 33? What should be the least exponent of 33? Which when divides by 7 leaves a remainder 1. That is the first thing that we have to do. This is not the true thing. Okay. This is not true. 33 is not congruent to 1 modulo 7. That is not the thing. What I want to say is, what should be the power raised to 33, so that which when divides by 7 leaves a remainder 1. So, first of all, you see, 33 and minus 2 are congruent modulo 7. Tell me yes or no. Because the multiple of 7, which is more than 33, just above 33 multiple of 7 is 35. And we are too short. So, we have written minus 2 modulo 7. Now, let me just raise its power to 3. So, we are having minus 2 to the power 3 modulo 7. So, 33 to the power 3 gives you minus 8 modulo 7. Am I correct? Now, 33 to the power 3 can be written as, since the remainder cannot be minus at the divisor, which is 7. So, 7 minus 8 here will give you minus 1 modulo 7, raise its power to 2. So, 33 to the power 6 is 1 modulo 7. Is it clear? So, the least value, 
the least exponent of 33 which when divides by 7 leaves the remainder 1 is 6. Now your task is to express 34 to the power 35 in a multiple of 6. So what we will do, we will start from here. That 34 when divided by 6, what is the remainder? Tell me very fast. It is 4. Hello? Because 5, 6 are 30, 4 is the remainder. Now the moment you get 4 modulo 6, as I told you, that is when a is divided by 6, if the remain if the remainder is 4, then if you raise its power to k, k is an integer. Again, I'm telling you, positive integer. So a to the power k when divides by 6 will leave the same remainder 4. Okay, that funda right now I have given you in the previous sum. So 34. When divided by 6, the remainder is 4. So, 34 to the power 35 will give you the same remainder 4 when divided by 6. Hello? Is it clear? So, now it becomes so simple, you see. 34 to the power 35 can be written as what? 6 lambda plus 4. Well, lambda belongs to an integer z. Is it clear? So, your 33 to the power 34 to the power 35 has been changed to 33 to the power 6 lambda plus 4. Is it clear? So, which can also be written as 33 to the power 6 lambda into 33 to the power 4. Now, we already got that 33 to the power 6 is congruent to 1 modulo 7. So, let me just raise the power to lambda. So, it is coming to 1 modulo 7 again. Is it clear? Now, if I multiply both sides 33 to the power 4. So, in this case also we are getting 33 to the power 4 modulo 7. Okay. Now, observe carefully 33, see here, 33 cube is basically minus 1 modulo 7 and 33 is minus 2 modulo 7. So, 33 to the power 4 will be nothing but 2 modulo 7. Hello? So, this thing can be written as 2 modulo 7. Is it clear? And what is your 33 to the power 6 lambda plus 4? It is nothing but your 33 to the power 34 to the power 35, which is congruent to 2 modulo 7. That is, when this expression is divided by 7, the remainder is 2. Is it clear? Absolutely. That's all for this class. See you in my next class. Till then, goodbye and take care. If you like my class, do hit the like button and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified about my new uploaded videos. Put your queries and doubts in the comment section. You can now reach out to me at my mail, my Facebook page, my Instagram. You can also join my WhatsApp group for doubt clearing. Link given in the description. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.